Hey everybody, how you doing? My name is Gio Perez and I want to thank you for tuning in to our show. I got Rafael Alderete here again and we're going to be talking about Kapap and uh, the, you know, practical uh, martial arts, Israeli actually, face-to-face yeah, contact. Face -to -face. So tell me about it. You know what? I, I've been watching some videos about Kapap and also like Krav Maga. I mean, they're, they're pretty much the same thing. Or is, it a little, is there a little difference when it comes to Kapap or Krav yeah. Maga? Well, I gotta tell you, you know, for what I've been, for what I know, for a little of, I know, and, and speaking to people, you know, they all, they all mean literally the same. They just, they just, they just come with different names, but I guess they all mean the same thing. Krav, as combat, you know, kebab, you know, it's, yeah, yeah. When, when did you start practicing? Uh, a few years ago with, um, um, uh, Sansei, uh, Jacob Bresler. Right. You know, great guy, great yeah. guy, you know. Okay. And, uh, and now, so now we, um, I'm starting to work over them in Argentina. Now I was given the responsibility of, uh, oh. of, uh, you know, taking kebab, which has already been Wait, over did there. Did you decide to go or they kick you out? No, no, there? no, no. Actually, you know what? I, I think as a, as a martial artist, uh. Because before the masters used to kick the students out. Yeah, yeah. They're like, you know what? You can't, you know what? I've taught you everything I know. You have to get out of here. Well, now. yes, but it, that is not the truth well. anymore. <laughs> you know, I think it's just, uh, it was a personal choice. Okay. Uh, it's been 35 years here. I'm in the United States. My cycle is done. You know, I, I grew my kids over here, probably, and so. And I think it was time for me to spend some time with family. But at the same time, knowing knowing that the, there is work to do over there, you know, um, I figured that this is a now great. Now tell me, job. do you think you have more freedom to actually be able to teach kapap in Argentina than here? You know, thinking about, I'm talking about the legal. Uh, part the legal of part of it, well, because when when I see things like Krav Maga, like I, I don't know if you ever saw that show. Um, there was a show where two guys used to actually go and and, and I think it's called Fight Quest. Oh, oh, Fight, Fight Quest. Right. And yeah. There was one episode yes. where they were in Israel, in Israel and they were yeah. doing uh, Krav Maga. And I think this is the the first time I actually saw the show that the guys actually got beat up. I mean, they they were literally beat up. Yeah. And they they were just you know, amazed of the way they were thinking. Yeah. Because, I mean, she even thought that the, the, the actual instructor was insane. Well, remember, remember this. I is, mean, I know this, this is what I was talking to yeah. with my friend. I was telling him, you know what? The, their mentality, I mean, they're always in a war, yeah. war type of mentality. Yes, and exactly. you get crazy, you know? Well, I don't know about crazy, but I guess you get, you know, you get to the way I, I was a military guy too. Right. And obviously, the way we, we think is, uh, when we protect ourselves, we, we think with the, with the, with the ultimate sacrifice. You know, not so much, oh, I'm just going to protect myself or, you know, I mean, this guy's going to attack me, he's going to pay the price. You know what I'm saying? So, I think when they created this, this, uh, this art, uh, combat art, you know, it's not a martial art, you know, let's just, let's just, let's just tell that right off the top. It's, this is a combative art, you know. Right. So, or system, you know, more than anything. Yeah. So, but I think, you know, what the beauty of this thing is there's that... There's no art. There's no kata. There's no, nothing. no, man. No, there's no it. art. There's no kata. Here's combat. There's no combat. This combat. is combat, okay, got you know. It, got it. And you practice, you combat. Movement. Right. But what I'm saying, you know, if you saw that show, I mean, they were going at it. They the way they were practicing. I mean, are you able to do that here in L.A.? You can't do that. I no. Mean, you I, know, I don't think you... I've, I mean, yeah. I've seen a teacher somewhere in L.A. I've seen yeah. some videos... And I see them one, once they're testing. I see the students getting knocked out, getting hit, getting yeah. you know. But but it's not the same whether you're in another country, whether you're here. I mean, there's so many things here well, I got that it. a teacher can do. Yeah, but can sad, you do that in Argentina? Yeah, actually, sadly, sadly, I would say that Argentina has been copying some of the ways from here. Okay. But what I mean by that, it's you know here in California, especially, yes. people get like so crazy, right? Right. Well, over there they're doing the same thing, and so they're putting a lot of limitation because the human rights, you know, they feel that this is, uh, you know, you can teach art, but you you should not hit the you know the the person. You cannot, you know, before they used to teach us with a you know with a cane. I you think know, this is because the Pope is from Argentina. I don't know. It could be. <laughs> he's, just, he's just too passive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but anyway, yeah. So no, but the, the I think it's, but, but you know what? You, uh, you just to answer that question, yeah. I think that you still can teach, you know, that way. As long as you make him understand and you just make him sign a wave. You got to have that wave sign. Right. The waiver, when, the once you sign the waiver, that's it. Then, then, uh, then, then you know what? You, go, you know, you're good to go. And as long as they understand the difference between this combative art 
versus I don't know. Let's just say you know. There is all, way. All, I mean, there there is also. I mean, I know you're talking about the waivers, but there also you also have to deal with insurance companies too here. Oh, here there are no. Okay. No, there there you don't have you know, such a thing. Yeah. So I think you might have a little bit more freedom to actually teach. I think so. That's know. why also too. That's why I was brought up always training hard, uh, sparring with no equipment. That's why when I got in here to the United States. I used to get disqualified from all the tournament because excess of force. Okay. Right, but this is a question for the actual viewer. Uh -huh. I mean, do you prefer actually having a teacher that will actually teach you? I mean, I'm talking about teach you hard, teach you the right way, or do you still are you the viewer that actually likes to hold back and actually is afraid? Not afraid, but maybe not not confident enough yet to actually be taught a little bit of a hard system. You know, because yeah. every time I get a student that walks in here, you know, you can already tell already what, what, how far you sure. go with that student. Sure. Well, you know what? The, I, I think, I think to me, I think it's important for a student to ask. I mean, I don't know. Well, it is important for us to ask. As, as a teacher, we ask the student, what brought you here? What is your intention? The of goal, take, the goal. What yeah. is your goal? And some, some people say, oh, I'm only going to do it for fitness. You know, people that are, Working in the uh, in the office, uh, I don't want to be right, marked or right, anything like that. True. Other people, they they want some self defense. Some other people want to fight. Well, it's in the century we're living. I mean, we're living in an exactly. era that exactly uh, that. I mean, we're not. It's not like we're stepping out and that we're gonna die. You know. Sure. But before, when sure. you would step out, you know, especially like in Israel. Yes. I mean, you don't know. It's a war zone. So my gosh, man! You know, I've seen some some videos. In fact, I'm flying to yeah. Israel in April. Really? Uh, um, you know, and I'm so looking forward to you know see this country. Uh, it's our God, you know, God country. You know. Yeah. Uh, but I've seen some videos of people. They're walking on the street, man, and all of a sudden, because they have different cultures in there as right, well. Right. Right. They come out with a knife and they just start going at it, you know, start, you know, uh, punching people or some people just driving and, and just run, run into people and they start shooting each other. Well, then we're talking about thousands of years. Yeah. I mean, no, no, right now. This I know, is, right now, yeah, but we're talking thing, about that this has yes. been developed for thousands of years. I understand years, that, right? but I think we, we are, we're going back <sighs> to the same, uh, to the same thing. Yeah. They over there, I guarantee you, they will not train, they will not train for, uh, for fitness. No, no. <laughs> Even though you do exactly. get fit, <laughs> obviously, Even it obviously, comes along with obviously, it, but, but yeah. you know what? They train, they, they, they train to survive. Right. And, and they, they, they have that mentality. That's why they are so good at that's, it. That's, that's what it is. It's, it's not, it's the mentality. Yeah. You see, when you're talking about, like, for example, let's say you walk into a traditional martial arts, the mentality is what? Self-defense. You're trying to, you know, practice martial arts so you never have to use exactly. it. Exactly. You know, you don't exactly. have, you don't, it's kind of like a, you have the soft arts and then you have hard arts. Yeah. But when it comes to, for example, the system, mm -hmm. uh, Israeli system, no, it, it's about survival. It, well, and, the, and the they, mentality they, has got to be there. Exactly. They you teach know. you the mental aspect also of how to fight without fighting too because right. if you think about it, before they get into an encounter, they give you all the warnings given, you know, uh, and an expression of, of uh, you know, please don't, you know, and, you know they, try, they try to avoid the fight unless they get engaged. Well, once, I mean, if you're gonna fight in said. Israel, if you're gonna go and and pick a fight in Israel, yeah, I mean, you're gonna have trouble because everybody so. gets sent to the army, Everybody. even women. Exactly. <laughs> That's the beauty of yeah. it. That's the beauty of it. I was I was in the army, like I said, man. And you yeah. know what? I think, I think that that was the best time of my life because I've learned things there that I didn't even learn in martial arts, you know. Yeah. And uh, and uh, it, it more as, as the as the mindset that they teach you. Oh. You know what? Watching, for example, Kapop, then you see other other martial arts that they're kind of like they're also developing. I mean, watching the way things are happening in MMA, you know, the things yes. that you're watching. Yes. You, I, I believe a lot of martial arts are evolving towards that route because little they're trying to little. they're trying to see a little bit more realism. Yeah. And I think when I'm teaching, uh, you know, my style of martial arts, mm -hmm. you know, I'm teaching with that mentality also, exactly. a little bit more exactly. realism. Plus, too, you you used to be a fighter yourself, so you 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 applied. There's the, a little, the yeah. There's different. There's yeah. a little different than somebody that has taught but's never actually faced somebody. Faces, exactly. You see, th this true. is a different talk. Yes. There's a different like it's like saying a white belt on a black belt. You know, the reason black belts are so it's so important. Is because there's an elite group, yes. of, and and when you're a black belt, yes. you know what that person went through. Of course. So then there's course. a there's a different there's a different mindset. Exactly. Um, exactly. Yeah. So anyway, guys, let us know what you think about Kapop. 
you know i comment down below mm -hmm. let us know man we want we yeah. want to know i mean he wants to know yeah. what people think true i mean not a lot of people know about kapop or krav maga i would say so it's important to know what you guys think you know good bad you know we just want to hear from it so uh don't forget to subscribe you guys you can follow Rafael Alderete. What was the email again? Well, in, in that particular art, you can look me up as under uh, Alderete Fighting Academy, you know, at gmail.com. Uh, now also, if you allow me to say this, yeah. we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna have the city of Rosario, uh, what is called a Gabab, the official Gabab International Training Center, which I'm going to allow... Where is Rosario? Rosario is uh, about four hours from uh, Buenos Aires. Oh, okay, okay. It's in the, it's in the state of uh, Santa Fe. Okay. So with that being said, I am going to, as a director now, a new director of the uh, Capab ICA Association, right. I mean, in Argentina, I am going to, I'm going to allow people to come and train with us. Oh, awesome. You know, if you're in, visiting Argentina, man, you're looking for a place to train, come and see me, man, because uh, it's, uh, we want to be in the city of uh, Rosario. Uh, just, you know, give me a call, all right? Or, or just contact me, email. All right, guys. So you heard, uh, am I invited to come and beat oh, up man, on your I, students? I, in fact, when I, when I open up the center, I am going to invite you guys uh, yeah. over. Okay, oh, good. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. We'll go over there. We'll record some stuff and make some, uh, make people sweat. It'd be good, though. It'd be <laughs> great. Right. It'd be great. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. And don't forget, you can find me at www.lamafighters.com. And you can find this show at Like Water Productions and YouTube and... Thank you very much, guys. Thank you.